Bring the hands in front and we'll slowly, or out in front, and we'll just slowly stand up with a flat back. Beautiful. Or you can come up any way that's comfortable for your back. And for standing forward bend, we'll inhale the arms up tall. We can lift the heart, lift the hips, making ourselves as tall as we can. And exhale, folding at the hips, coming all the way down. Beautiful. So that's nice long spine as we come down. Nice, Ryan. So Ryan's really learning to lengthen that spine. Beautiful. And then from here, you know, there's several hand variations. You can just push, push into the floor. You can grab your big toes. Or what we've been doing typically is grabbing around the legs and you can grab your elbows or your wrists. And sometimes it's nice to bend the knees and kind of walk the hands, arms a little farther down and then you can straighten the legs out and you can get a little bit more uh, purchase there on the legs. Beautiful. So an adjustment for this, um, I guess the most common adjustment I will do is support with this hand here, supporting the uh, low back just so she doesn't fall over. And then I'm going to push into her body here, pushing down and then towards her legs. And I can help her come down this way. Beautiful. So I'll try the same thing on Ryan over here. He's probably a little bit more fragile, like he feels like if I pushed at all, really, it might hurt. So I'm going to be gentle. So I'm just going to push down here and then just kind of let my hand rest here and slowly kind of see where it goes. I'm going to be kind of pulling, you know, just kind of like rubbing this uh, back longer, pushing down. Beautiful. Yeah, so I love that. When you inhale, you reach the heart forward. You can pull the belly into the spine, pull the low back closer to the legs. Beautiful. Beautiful poses. And then from, from here, we can shift. So the feet are going to stay fat, flat, but shift the weight forward onto the balls of the feet. And just feel that subtle difference um, when we're a little bit more forward and shift the weight more onto the heels. Again, the feet stay flat, but just feel that difference. Uh, and then come back right in the middle where we're balancing kind of on all corners of the feet. Beautiful. And then from here, we'll just really relax the arms down. And we can bend the knees slightly and uncurl as we come up to standing. So we'll uncurl vertebrae by vertebrae as we come up. So typically if we've been in forward bend for, you know, several breaths, typically it's good to come up like this because there's a, you know, there's a change in blood pressure uh, since we are, it's kind of an inversion. You know, the heart has been lower than a lot of the body. So we want to come up slowly to allow for, you know, any of that adjustment, you know. Um, you know, if we're just doing sun salutations, we're not staying down longer, then we come up a different way. But typically, if we're, if we're down for a while, you know, 15 or more breaths, it's good to come up slowly like this, at least to allow people to notice any of that change. Um, and then it's nice to do a little counter stretch. We can bring the hands together and we bring the feet under the hips and we'll just lift the heart and arch back, letting the head drop back. You can push the hips a little forward as we're arching back can arch back as far as, as far as we can. Beautiful. You know, and you can do anything from what Ryan's doing or maybe to what Kim is doing and coming up. So that's just kind of a little counter stretch.